From helping pilots fill out safety forms to saving energy with smart chillers, ITC Infotech has worked on a slew of artificial intelligence and IoT based products. This week, Analytics India magazine visited their lush green campus in Bangalore and talked to Mr. Mahesh Prabhu, VP and Global Head of Innovation at ITC Infotech. Over coffee and anecdotes, we talked about the growing importance of IoT, the greater reliance on AI, and the unique products and services offered by ITC Infotech. work across industry verticals and we specialize in, in domain data, digital design and very special focus on delivery excellence. So these are the, the five Bs that differentiate ITC Infotech from the other IT services companies. So AI and IoT is a very very uh, integral and important component of uh, our emerging technology uh, landscape. We, we call it Interruption Lab and it stands for Disruptive Innovation or you can also say Innovative Disruption. So both, both work for us, so we do advanced technology research there and we do POCs. The idea is um, if we have to try out new things then you have to have the ability to fail fast and, and, and then try out the new solution until you find the right solution. So we uh, work on different technologies and I call this the ABCD of Digital Transformation. Uh, the A is being artificial intelligence and augmented reality, B is being bots and blockchain, C is being conversational systems and connected devices applications, and the D is being drones and digital devices. Okay, we've done very, very interesting things. So, uh, the biggest thing I would say is uh, AI based uh, digital HR body, that bot that we have uh, created and we fondly call her Maya uh, and, and uh, she, uh, she's like any other HR person except that you know she's, she's virtual and employees are able to ask questions uh, to Maya so they can ask about policies um, and she'll be able to give an instant answer and also she can give personalized and contextualized information for example you know someone is asking um, very specifically uh, about uh, let's say an employee of uh, Bangalore is asking a question and he'll get, he'll get an answer the policies of Bangalore. We've also taken it to the next level where uh, as a true digital assistant, Maya is able to do transactions on behalf of the employee in, in, in back-end systems like your ERP. Fully trained, fully ready uh, in all the technologies is, is something probably we'll never find. Okay, however, uh, uh, what we believe in is, you know, if we Hire the right kind of people with the right attitude, uh, right learnability quotient, someone who is a, a techie. Uh, so I think you know these guys can uh, can learn and they can uh, pick up these uh, new technologies very easily. So we look more for uh, the intelligence and and the technology quotient being high than rather than a specific skill. So that way you know they're able to adapt, they're able to learn new technologies. Uh, Quickly. And and we have a, a good training mechanism here, so uh, I don't see talent being a challenge for us. We've seen one very peculiar uh, uh, thing in India. So everybody wants to be the first to try out the technology. Okay, they're very very keen on trying out this technology. But then they also come back and ask, uh, you know, where have you done this before? So two contradicting uh, statements, uh, and, and that's one one challenge. I think you know people have to just get over that part. Uh, it, it's just a mindset change. You know, if you if you want to be the first, then you know you've probably not done it before. So uh, it, it's not bad to try out a totally new thing. 